Hi, my name is Jim Hofferkamp from the Program Manager of Education and Training at NACER. I'm here to talk a little bit about NACER Share. Uh, NACER Share is the online collaborative workspace uh, that can be used by NACER members that are part of NACER steering committees, work groups, and task forces. Uh, NACER Share is similar to Causeway. Uh, Causeway is a system that we have used in the past. Um, NACER Share has all the same functionality, probably a few more options, and really I think it's a little bit more user friendly. I really do think you're going to like it. And Causeway is going away in a couple months, uh, so uh, Share is the direction we're going. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, NACER Share. So if we go to the NACER.org webpage, so NACER's homepage, uh, at the top of the screen, top right hand side, you should see a, a tab. And under that tab, organizations and membership, under that tab, you see share committee workspace. All right. So I am on the share.nacer.org, and maybe you just want to bookmark this page. Um, <clears throat> so we're on the share page. I uh, notice that there are no work groups listed. We have announcements and NACER messages. So this page is open to everybody. What I want to do is sign in. Okay, so this will take me to the NACER login. This is the My NACER login page. If you don't have a My NACER login page, you'll want to go ahead and sign up for one. Um, just uh, create a My NACER account right there. It's simple. It's quick. Uh, but I already have one. Uh, so, and I use my primary email address for to <clears throat> my My NACER account and my password. And then I have to confirm that I'm not a robot. All right, so sign in. And now we can see my work groups. If you are a member of a work group a steering committee or a task force and you do not see your work group steering committee or task force uh, listed, uh, you'll need to contact us. Uh, down at the bottom, we have an email, info at nacer.org. Um, and just send this email, say, hey, I'm part of this group, and uh, it's not showing up as, as a work group. Uh, that's something we'll have to take care of on our end. You should already, everything should be done. Okay, so if you are already a member of the work group, it should show up. All right, so we're going to work with the Communication Steering Committee today. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. As I mentioned, uh, NISTER Share has quite a bit of functionality. Uh, we're going to focus on three things uh, today, the three Ds. And I think these are the things that you'll use most frequently. Uh, we're going to look at uh, discussions, documents, and the directory. So let's go ahead and start off with discussion. Uh, here we can see there's already been three discussion threads started. All right, uh, but we want to post a new one. We've got a new topic we want to talk about. Um, so we're going to send this. I clicked on send a message. Uh, it's going to the communication steering committee. So that means everybody that's a member of this committee will get the email. Uh, it's coming from me and we're just going to say hello. All right, saying hello. So this is my message. Um, I saw the signatures already populated. I don't have to do anything like that. If I wanted to, I could send an attachment. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing it from this particular place. Uh, there's a couple other ways um, to do that uh, that I think are easier, um, a little more efficient. So we're just going to send our message. All right, so I hit send. Now I'm a member of this committee, so I'll also get that email. What I'll do is I look in my email. Now, on my regular email, I didn't find it. Uh, I had to look in the clutter folder. Um, so uh, what I'll need to do is go in and make sure that uh, I do not block anything from connectedcommunity.org. Okay, so be sure to do that. Otherwise, you'll be uh, getting all your emails in your clutter or your junk folder. All right, so this is what the email looks like. Uh, I've got a several different uh, um, <clears throat> several different options to reply. Uh, one option, I could reply to the individual. If I just want to send a message to the individual that sent this, not the whole group, I could do that. If, if I use this link, though, it takes me back to the share site. And that, that's fine um, if you want to go that direction. Or you can just reply to sender via email. I click on that, and you can see I was the sender, so I'm sending this message to myself. But it's just going to me. Uh, it's reply to the email. 
uh, and I can just hit send. I don't want to do that. I want to send a message to the entire group. So what I'm going to do is hit reply. Now notice it puts this email address in my email message. All right, it automatically populates it. Uh, <clears throat> if you're going to be actively participating and sending lots of messages to the group, it's probably a good idea just to go ahead and, you know, copy this, add this to your address book, whatever you need to do. Um, you do not need to go through Mace or Share to send an email uh, to the group. All right, if you're a member of the group, you can just any email from any email address, you just go ahead and populate, populate it with this email address and it will go to the entire group. All right, so I'm going to say hello again, only this time I am going to send a document. All right, let's say we're working on a document, a resource test. That's the document we've been working on. I want to send that to the entire group. Go ahead and hit send. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the Nesset Nacer page. Uh, we've got the first email we sent. Uh, it has an update. Let's go ahead and reload. And we can see that my reply has already been posted. And we can see that my reply included a document. Let's go ahead and open this one up. We can see my original um, message. We can see my reply, and we can also see the actual document that goes along with that. So if I wanted to, I could download that document right there, open it, and there we go. But there's another cool option uh, that, that we can do as well. All right, so this is discussion. This is the email thread. I think it's uh, pretty handy. Um, the other kind of cool things, if we go back to discussion, we can see it documents any new thread. So all new emails that go to that email address, they get posted here in the discussion and it does include the attachment. All right, we're going to go ahead and bounce over to the documents library. Now, one of the really cool things about Nacer Share is any emails that are sent with an attachment, we'll see that attachment right here in our documents. All right, so say hello attachments. That's the one we just sent. That one up. And here we can see we can uh, this is the entire email. It wasn't just the attachment. If I wanted to, I could go ahead and download this. So it's the same document I just downloaded. We open it up. Let's say I wanted to edit this and I wanted to um, make some changes. I save that. Now I want to share those changes with the entire group. So let's go ahead and close that. I can go ahead over here to Actions, Edit, and this will allow me to upload an edited document. So I just choose an upload, click here. I can see my edited document. I didn't bother to change the name, nothing like that. Um, and I hit Upload. Now how do I know which version I'm working with? Well, hold on, let's just go ahead and hit next and next finish okay we can see that my original document that was sent is listed here and then my document that has the changes so let's say <clears throat> nobody liked the changes that I made um, we could go ahead and we still have our original document here all right, so it's okay to, to do that. Anybody that is part of the group can upload a new version of this document. We do want to keep it with the same name. All right, so those are our documents. That one originated from an email. Um, if we wanted to, we could also just add a new one, a new document. Um, I'm actually going, well, actually, I will. So here we have. I'm adding a new one, entry type, just a standard file upload. You can see there's other options. We can upload hyperlinks, webinars, YouTube videos, um, whatever we want. I hit next. I'll show you another cool option here. Let's say I went ahead several documents that I wanted to upload. So I got the resource test, and then I also have um, the... Um, PowerPoint that goes along with it. Uh, I could have three or four, several other documents. I just go ahead, I upload both, and it's going to upload both documents. OK. 
Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and finish that. And here we can see in each one, we could go in, we can uh, make download it, make changes, re-upload it, and it will do the versioning with all those documents. Okay, so that's another handy tool. One other thing I want to point out, <clears throat> we can also create folders. So if I wanted to um, create a folder um, here, let's say we wanted a new folder for every committee meeting, uh, we could do that. Uh, and within that folder, we know that uh, there would be the minutes and the agenda and all the other documents that are associated with it. Uh, <clears throat> another good idea is to uh, every time that uh, you add an agenda to a folder, uh, you want to add a tag. Uh, you may have noticed the tag option. So you can just say tag as agenda. So if you ever wanted to look up all the agenda or all the minutes, minutes is probably even more important. Um, you could go ahead and put a tag next to each. Let's just look at that real quick. Each one. So that would make it much easier to find uh, all the uh, documents. So, so if I wanted to go in here, uh, actions, uh, edit, well, we could do that. I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, but the tags are uh, an, an easy way to help find documents once you have several folders. All right, well, so we looked at documents, we looked at discussions on those first two Ds. The other thing I wanted to take a look at was the directory. So if there's somebody that you want to contact within Mesa, and maybe you don't have their email address or you're not sure how to contact them, just go under uh, directory, member directory, and let's say I wanted to uh, find Charlie. All right, and I go ahead, I find members, and here we can see Charlie. Let's say um, somebody with a less common name. So let's try Angela. A more common name, I guess. We're going to find Angela. So if all I knew was the first name, I could go ahead and type in Angela. It pulls up every Angela in the NACER membership directory. And uh, we can see Angela Martin right here. And if I wanted to send her a message, I could. Or if I wanted to add it as a contact, I could do that as well. All right, so those are the big, the three Ds, okay? We talked about discussions. Um, let's go back. Discussions, documents, and the directory. All right, those are the uh, main topics I wanted to cover. If you have any questions or you run into some problems, uh, first place you need to go, click on Browse, go to the Help Frequently Asked Questions section. This is a very robust frequently asked questions or help, help desk. I think you'll probably be able to answer uh, any questions that you have. If not, or if you run into a situation uh, like where you're not seeing a committee that you think you're part of, go ahead and send us an email at info at nacer.org. Okay, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, well, I hope... Uh, Hope you uh, enjoy working with NACER Share. I think it is a great tool, and hopefully it will help keep the, the committee process moving forward. All right. Have a great day. Goodbye.